if you want to be prison one day, you need four things. Skills, confidence, no fear, and balls. And you know who has those four qualities? Frank Underwood. Alright guys, House of Cards Season 4 review. Let's go. Okay, so House of Cards Season 4. I'm gonna try to do this with as few spoilers as I can. Okay, because when you're watching, <laughs> you know, the entire 13 episode, you really want to talk about what's, you know, the ending and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to, you know, keep it, you know, what's good and what's, you know, maybe not so good in this season. Should you watch it? Uh, well, first, yes, you should. Uh, you know, House of Cards is one of the most addictive TV shows I've watched, and I'm not into politics all that much. It just, Frank Underwood is just such an interesting character to just follow his journey and everything. And to you who live in the US right now, it's a perfect timing to watch House of Cards season 4 because, you know, the, there's an election coming up in a couple of months, so it's a great timing for you guys. Okay, so let's get into the crunchy stuff. House of Cards, what's good? Well, we see a, a whole new side of Claire Underwood. And at first, I had my doubts. Because, you know, in the first three seasons, she's just, you know, Claire Underwood, the wife, and, you know, and she, you know, she, she runs, you know, a non-profit organization. But she's, she's not really into the politics aspect of the show. Uh, well, she is, because she helps Frank and a bunch of stuff and anything. But now she is really into it. At first, I had my doubts, you know, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like that. But when you go along and you watch more episodes, more episodes of season four, you just kind of really dig into it and say, okay, now she's a part of this and she's just really going with it. Uh, a thing that I didn't like in season four, I feel like the pace was much slower. You know, we follow on the road and, uh, uh, you know, his campaign and everything. And I feel like it just... Don't get me wrong, the, the action, the, everything is good, but I feel like a pace is a little bit slower than what we were used to expect in the three first season. Another thing that I really like is that in the first three seasons, it's like rising to the top. You know, Frank Underwood is just starting as a congressman, and you know, we really want to rise to the top, gets VP, and at the end of season three, is president for the next 18 months. But now that he is president, we see him. We see him do stuff that we didn't think would happen in the show. And now he's not only attacking, he's defending from every side that you can possibly think of. And it's great because we are so used to, you know, him attacking, attacking, attacking. And now he needs to defend, to defend. So it's like, you know, a brand new battle. And it's great. I love that aspect about season four. And that's another reason why you should definitely watch it. Another thing I want to talk to you about is Tom. Tom is a, you know, a novel writer that comes along the show and he tried to follow the Underwoods and his goal is to write a book to eventually help Frank in uh, his campaign. And what Tom does and what's great about it is that he kind of, you know, gets into the chemistry of Frank and Claire and just becomes somewhat of a trio and it's just, it's a new set of things I really, like, really like. And I feel like you guys might enjoy this as well. So to sum it up, season four, should you watch it? Of course, it's amazing like all three seasons. Uh, the pace is a little bit slow, because probably because I'm used to slower campaign since I live in Canada and anything. But you guys in the US are pretty used to, you know, you know like long campaigns and everything. So you, I think you're going to keep up with the pace. And uh, you guys are going to love it. I'm not gonna get your hopes up too much because I hate when people do that. So I'm gonna say it's good, good for a watch. Enjoy the 13 episode and come back to me and say what you think about season four. If you already have watched the entire season four, then let me know what you think in the comments. And if you guys wanna chat about any TV show, if you want me to recommend you know, some shows that wasn't Netflix or anything, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter because I'm always on Twitter. I can talk to you guys and do a bunch of stuff at the same time. So, you guys have a great day. Have fun binge watching season four of House of Cards. 
and it's a great one you guys are gonna pretty sure you guys are gonna love it so you guys have fun with it and come back to me with your comments all right have a great day